Desde que te fui te sigo trastornado Hasta el pibe me siento ya Si no tengo de tu piel Ando por ahí con los de siempre uso cabrón Dando vuelta en un maquino Toda la noche me la paso soñando contigo Dando tu foto pensando en nosotros Y no quiero que me llamen no Por algo fue que cambié de teléfono My lens was like not all the way opened, but welcome to today's vlog. I am okay. First of all, can you guys tell that I was like super lit? Like I was lit today. I think I'm just actually having a good day. I am actually right outside the nail shop right now. I'm about to get my nails done. Well, try to get my nails done. You guys know that I have mentioned that I was not going to get my nails done anymore. I was just gonna stick to my little press ons. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my press ons, but I feel like I kind of just wanted something a little bit more detailish, a little bit more customizable. I didn't make an appointment, so hopefully they can still take me in. Okay, so I just got out. I was kind of bummed out because I went to my original nail place and they didn't fucking take me in, you guys. I did go an hour like before they were gonna close, so they're like, oh, we can't do your nails like an hour before. So I was kind of mad. So I had to go literally like down the street it's like super close anyway it's still close to where i live but it's like a new place i looked up the reviews online and it had like decent reviews they had like 4.2 stars which to me that's like you know it's pretty good for a no place the one that i go to is actually like three but there's this one guy that i like so that's why i always go there but anyway i ended up coming to a new place and um they took me in the guy was like super nice and stuff um I mean, I think he did a good job. I mean, as far as the shape, the shape is really, really good. Like, he really shaped my nails, like, perfectly thin squared the way that I like it. But I don't know. I feel like they're not as smooth. Like, you know when you touch your nail and you feel like it has to be smooth? It's not smooth whatsoever. And I'm kind of like... And I'm kind of, like, getting mad. I have, like, OCD when it comes to that. I don't know. I just don't like the way it feels, but... As far as the shape, again, he did really good. I mean, I can't be mad at that, right? Because sometimes they do the shape like just horrible to the point where I have to go back and actually file it myself. But yeah, as far as the shape, I'm like super happy and the length, he got it right. I didn't want too short, not too long, kind of like medium-ish. What are you doing over there? Are you okay? Are you? You wanna come say hi? Give them a little peek. Look, look. <laughs> Today is actually the next day. I'm in my robe, so please forgive me. I kinda just want it to be comfy today because I have cleaning to do. I'm not gonna go back and forth and let you guys know exactly what I need to clean and everything because y'all already know, okay? I think you guys know me enough to the point where you know what I need to clean and what I need to do to get my life together. Okay, so we are drinking coffee. Started early today, um, so I needed me some coffee. I actually have so much coffee to drink here at home. I was thinking about it. I was like, damn, I don't even use my Keurig anymore. I have so many K-Cups. I kind of just been neglecting my little Keurig and I just, I couldn't do that anymore. Okay, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to drink all of my coffee because I just have way too much. <laughs> And I just been getting used to like just wasting money for no reason. I felt like I had to give you guys a little update, but was it on Storm? You guys remember like when she was sick and stuff and I told you guys she had like diarrhea and everything like that. Well, I'm just going to let you do your thing because my Okay. She is so funny. You guys, she reminds me a lot of my Penny. Like, it makes me so sad, but 
I feel, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like she has Penny's soul. Like, she's just the sweetest thing ever. And she does everything that Penny used to do. You guys remember that, like, Penny used to love looking out the window of my balcony in the back? She does that. She barks at like every dog she sees. She barks at like everything. If she feels like there's someone coming like by the door or like someone is delivering something or there's just like noise outside, she gets so protective. Like this is, I just feel like she's like Penny's soul sister. Like they're so alike, but yet so different. It's like so hard to explain, but she reminds me like everything that she does, she reminds me of my Penny. She really does, and um, I really don't want to like get emotional right now, but she does. Like, it's just crazy how she does little things that her older sister used to do. Um, yeah, so you guys remember when she was sick and stuff, she had like diarrhea. I just did not know what was wrong with her. Well, I ended up taking her to the vet. I ended up finding a new vet, not the one that diagnosed her with parvo that I took her the first time. I was just like, I'm gonna find her like another vet and actually stick to that one. And I did, I ended up finding her new vet and I absolutely love him. I love the clinic, love everybody. Everybody was so sweet. Um, so yeah, I took her two and a half weeks ago, I believe. And, um, it turns out that she had roundworms. She had roundworms again, because you guys know the first time that she got diagnosed with parvo, she had roundworms and coccidia and like some other stuff. But this time they tested her for the exact same thing and everything came back negative except for the roundworms. And the vet told me that <clears throat> for puppies it's like normal especially if she was already dealing with what she was dealing with so he was like they could have came back and plus she probably needs like to be dewarmed so um yeah left her new vet he was very informative very knowledgeable he just made me feel so secure and just made me feel like she was going to be okay and he just said that she was like the best dog ever he like completely fell in love with her they fell in love with each other they like loved each other so it was so cute so he ended up giving her another dewormer he ended up giving her some heartworm medication that kind of takes care of that too which she's probably gonna be on not probably she is i have to go get it actually she is going to be on heartworm medication for a while um not because she has heartworms of course not but because that medication still treats any type Type of worm and then he gave her some probiotics that the first doctor actually gave me and they worked amazing and now she is back to normal can you guys believe that she actually had roundworms but this time I didn't see any roundworms like I did that I don't know if I ever told you guys but when she first got diagnosed with parvo I legit saw like the roundworms coming out of her Ugh, it's disgusting I don't even want to talk about it but this time around thank god I did not see them so I had absolutely no idea that it was that everything is good like she's just a miracle baby like when I'm telling you guys she is a miracle baby you could never even tell that she was ever sick the only thing that kind of gave it up was her weight because she was just extremely skinny and tiny when I first got her she literally went through it and we would have never known I'm just so thankful that God put her in my path for me to actually take care of her because now that I think about it it's like if I would have never took her in what would have happened we actually i wanted to open this up with y'all because i got a package from rose forever you guys remember rose forever ended up sending me that little bouquet of roses that i have on my center table it's beautiful so they ended up sending me more roses and i'm actually so excited i don't know if i got like the same thing i hope they didn't send me the same thing i think i got something else i don't remember exactly what color i wanted of course i wanted to go with neutrals so i am going to replace those with these and then those I don't know. I'm probably gonna go and put them in my bedroom somewhere. But you guys know Rose Forever. They are thebomb.com. I absolutely love them. Their roses are all handmade. The best quality ever. Not only that, they last you for up to a year, you guys. And these are perfect for like decor. So if you just kind of want to um your decor a little bit i got the square box this time last time i got the round box it is absolutely beautiful and we're gonna open it up oh my god don't they look 
studying. They look so amazing. Did I get the same color? No, I didn't. So I got, what color is this? Did I get white or ivory? I know for sure the round ones, the ones that I got were ivory. These are supposed to be white. They look more like on the yellow ivory kind of side. I don't know, maybe I got the same color. Don't pay attention to me, but they look amazing, you guys. They look so beautiful, and they will look perfect in my center table. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna like put these there instead and maybe put this little, I don't know, it just looks so gorge. Um, Yeah, you can kind of just put this on top like this, the top and it'll sit like perfectly. So I am excited about that. I just need to throw all that extra stuff away. Y'all, I just had dinner and I decided to go to KFC. I had high hopes. And you guys can just guess what I decided to order. Nashville hot chicken tenders that is all over TikTok and all over social media. I personally love anything like Nashville hot. I love everything hot. I love hot sauce. I love everything, especially chicken tenders. And I just love saucy shit. They look so good everywhere, you guys. So I decided to try it. Let me tell you, it was probably the worst dinner I've had in a very long time. Okay. In a very, and that's because I love food, but they were trash. I feel like the sauce was literally just grease. Like it was just grease with like, I don't even know what you would call that. It was just like greased with like hot sauce. I don't know, like together it was just disgusting. I did not enjoy it. I just wanted to throw up. Save your money, go to Popeyes, get you the Popeyes um, chicken sandwich. That was bomb, but yeah, don't waste your money, you guys. It was disgusting. Okay, anyway, I also just finished cleaning my living room. I ended up organizing a couple of things i'm still not done i still have to organize a lot of shit but right now before i go to sleep this guy right here i'm gonna organize it and then i'm gonna get rid of it um i have my trash bag right here because i am going to probably throw everything away i have most of my stuff here. okay well i have my camera stuff right here i need to get rid of this what is this does this even work no, this probably does not even work. Yeah, I was going to trash most of these things, but to be honest, I'm just gonna organize it. I mean, I have a lot of stuff, especially down here too. I'm supposed to have a lot of phone stuff here, but half of it I don't even use anymore because I don't even have that phone. Like, I don't have that phone anymore, so it's just like extra shit that I have that I just need to get rid of. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get rid of the little baskets. These are gonna do me good. I'm gonna actually put these under my nightstand because I have like a big shelf. Ooh, I need to burp. So I think I'm just gonna put the little baskets and organize them under my nightstand. I think that will be a good idea because um, I have nowhere to like store these. So I think I might just end up doing that. I don't know, maybe I'll see you guys after this. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, I guess I'll just see you guys in my next vlog.